Shalom, shalom, and welcome back. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. In the book of Genesis, we read, In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did what was right in his own eyes. And this you'll see in chapter 17, verse 6, and chapter 21, verse 5. This is commonly seen as suggesting that things were worse in Israel when they had no king. Now, without a ruler, everyone did whatever they wanted. Another interpretation of these words is also possible. The vast majority of the kings of Israel and Judea did what was evil in the eyes of the Lord. They worshipped other gods, broke the covenant, and led their people astray. Those verses in Judges might well be saying that Israel did not need kings to lead them into doing what was evil. They managed that just fine on their own. Now, it is a subtle reminder to us as well that as much as we might like to blame others, especially our leaders, for the allowance of the evil, we don't need a scapegoat to blame for evil. We have the person in the mirror to blame. We are all quite adept of, at doing what is right in our own eyes without some leader guiding us into sin. Therefore, we pray for mercy. We repent, confess, and ask the Lord to give us humble and contrite hearts, to remove our hearts of stone and give us hearts of flesh. Rather than blaming others, let us cast our sins upon the one true scapegoat, Christ our Lord, who has borne our transgressions upon the cross, that we might be forgiven and walk as children of light in a world suffocated by darkness. So today we say, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. God bless and shalom.